Good evening. Tonight, we're closely watching a major labor dispute with nationwide implications. After weeks of contentious negotiations and a strike that threatened to cripple supply chains, there is a glimmer of hope on the waterfront. The International Longshoremen's Association, representing thousands of dock workers at ports along the East Coast and Gulf Coast, has reached a tentative agreement with the maritime industry. This fragile peace, however, hinges on the approval of the union's rank and file members. The strike, which began in early month year, sent shockwaves through the US economy. It was a stark reminder of the essential role these workers play in keeping goods flowing across the country. From groceries to electronics to raw materials, nearly everything we rely on moves through our ports. The tentative agreement, if ratified, promises to avert a potential economic crisis. This is not just about wages and benefits, though those are critically important. This strike is about respect, dignity, and the recognition of labor's contributions in a time of extraordinary economic uncertainty. Historically, labor movements have always been about more than just immediate gains. They are about securing a better future for the next generation of workers. The impact of this strike extends beyond the docks. It affects the families of these workers, their communities, and the broader economy. Local businesses that rely on the ports for their goods have also felt the strain, highlighting the interconnectedness of our economic systems. Government officials have been closely monitoring the situation, aware that a prolonged strike could have significant political ramifications. Economists warn that the longer the strike continues, the greater the risk of inflation and supply chain disruptions, which could affect prices nationwide. As we await the union members' vote, the nation watches with bated breath, hoping for a resolution that brings stability and fairness. The outcome of this tentative truce will shape the future of labor relations in the maritime industry and beyond. Stay tuned for further updates. To understand the gravity of this situation, we need to understand the ILA, the International Longshoremen's Association. This isn't just any union, it's a union with a rich history, deeply intertwined with the story of America's ports. The ILA has been the backbone of the maritime industry, ensuring that goods move efficiently across the country and beyond. For generations, families have worked on the docks, passing down the trade from father to son, mother to daughter. This tradition has created a strong sense of community and identity among dock workers, binding them together through shared experiences and a common purpose. These are jobs that built the middle class, jobs that provided a pathway to a better life. The work is physically demanding and often dangerous, but it has offered stability and a sense of pride for countless families. The ILA's last major strike was in 1977. That strike was a pivotal moment in labor history, highlighting the power and solidarity of dock workers. It was a time when the union stood firm against unfair labor practices, fighting for better wages and working conditions. Think about that. Nearly half a century of relative labor peace in an industry known for its volatility. This period of stability has allowed the industry to grow and adapt to new challenges from technological advancements to shifts in global trade patterns. This speaks to the union's commitment to finding common ground with employers. The ILA has always sought to balance the needs of its members with the realities of the industry, negotiating in good faith to secure fair agreements. But it also underscores the seriousness of the current impasse. The issues at stake today are complex and multifaceted, involving not just wages and benefits, but also job security and the impact of automation. When the ILA strikes, it's not a decision taken lightly. It's a last resort, a desperate cry for fairness when all other avenues have been exhausted. The decision to strike reflects the deep frustration and sense of injustice felt by the workers. It's a last resort, a desperate cry for fairness when all other avenues have been exhausted. The workers are not just fighting for themselves, but for the future of their families and their communities. The current generation of dock workers faces a different world than their predecessors. The rise of automation and advanced technology has transformed the nature of their work, creating new challenges and uncertainties. Globalization, automation, and the relentless drive for corporate profits have put immense pressure on working families. The competition is fierce and the demand for efficiency often comes at the expense of the workers' well-being. The COVID-19 pandemic only exacerbated these challenges. 
as dock workers were deemed essential and risked their health to keep the supply chain moving. They faced unprecedented risks, working long hours under difficult conditions to ensure that goods continued to flow. They showed up day after day while many of us worked from home. Their dedication and resilience were nothing short of heroic, and their efforts were crucial in maintaining the stability of the economy during a time of crisis. They kept our economy afloat and they deserve our respect and support. As we look to the future, it's essential to recognize the contributions of these workers and to ensure that they are treated with the dignity and fairness they deserve. So what's on the table? Let's dive into the specifics of this groundbreaking agreement. The tentative agreement includes a significant wage increase for dock workers, a much needed boost for those who keep our supply chains running smoothly. We're talking about a $4 per hour raise in the first year alone, which translates to a substantial increase in annual income for these hardworking individuals. This is a major victory for the union and it sets a powerful precedent for other workers fighting for a fair share of the economic pie. It's a testament to the power of collective bargaining. But it's not just about the immediate raise. The deal is designed to provide long-term benefits. The proposed contract includes additional raises over the next six years, ensuring that wages keep pace with the rising cost of living. This means that workers won't fall behind as inflation rises. This long-term view is crucial for providing workers with the economic security they deserve. It allows them to make informed financial decisions and plan for their futures with confidence. It allows them to plan for the future, to invest in their families, and to retire with dignity. This kind of stability is invaluable for maintaining a healthy work-life balance. The agreement also addresses other key concerns raised by the union, including healthcare costs and retirement benefits. These are critical issues that affect the well-being of workers and their families. These are not just perks, they are essential components of a fair and just labour agreement. Access to quality health care and a secure retirement plan are fundamental rights that every worker should have. When workers have access to quality, affordable health care, they are healthier and more productive. This benefits not only the workers themselves, but also the companies they work for and the economy as a whole. When they have a secure retirement plan, they can focus on their work without the constant worry of financial insecurity. This peace of mind leads to a more dedicated and efficient workforce, ultimately benefiting everyone involved. 